And how are you doing out there, YouTube Pyros? Today we're going to be converting this 18-shot fan rack and just straightening it out a bit. I got my buddy over here who's going to help me out while I take the video. And uh, all we're going to do is pull off the sideboards and pull out the staples and then screw it all back together straight up and down and use it for hand firing. I figure it's going to be a little safer. So you can go right ahead. Should be pretty simple. Yeah, this is the most time consuming part. He's just going to pull it apart. Then we have all the staples. As you can see. We did one last night, so it shouldn't take too long. I wish I could help, but I didn't have anybody to do the video. So I have to do the video. Hey, look, maybe I shouldn't have gave you that Sam Adams before we started. So now we have this. He's got a pair of, what are these called? Bullnose pliers. Bullnose pliers. This is, he's ripping right through this. So he's going to take out all the staples. And he's nailing it so far. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these for hand firing. I wasn't really into buying any other tubes. So I figured we could convert this. And if I need to, I can convert it back. I'm just going to move this over. There you go. Get a hand here. Oh yeah, this is going to go fairly, fairly quick. Hold it all together. All right. All right, same thing. Believe it or not, this rack's only been used about five times. Yeah, that would hurt. <laughs> Feel anything. Hey, nice work on the staples this time. You're, you can tell practice makes perfect on that. Oh, well, I spoke too soon. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's good. That's good. That's good. Flip it right over. Couple more. We're trying to do this fast because we don't want this video to last all night. He's got some clamps. We're going to put it together. And, uh, and he's going to put in a few screws and it should be done. Of course, I didn't bring the tubes. That would be pointless because we're not doing a demo. We're just repurposing a rack. Nice. All right. That goes on my side, Dean. Okay. I'm not supposed to say my name. Okay. So he's going to put the clamps on there to make sure everything is held together solid. He's got the other one. He's just going to measure on the sides to make sure we're good. We're about the same distance. Just got a couple of screws. Let's 
So he's just going to put two screws per, per rack up and down. Because we talked about this yesterday and we could always, we can convert this to whatever we want. A lot easier to take it apart when you use screws instead of staples. Exactly. Good point. It's a lot easier to take it apart uh, when you're using screws. These came from pyroboom.com. These were about $79 a piece. Minus shipping. It's huge, and we talked about it. And uh, so, well, maybe... Oh, this came. This side came up big time. That's fine. We'll fix that. Okay. Yeah, this did. This really came up. Okay, so you're just gonna. If you nail it with a hammer, I think it would be good, and then tighten it. Yeah. There it is. Looks pretty good. Perfect. I'm just gonna put one on the bottom to make sure that's snug. Put the side plate back on. Take a quick measurement. We're not looking for an exact here. We're just looking for, you know, we're not building, <laughs> we're not building a house or anything. So this is going one hell of a lot faster than I thought it would go. I guess practice makes perfect. Good job. Well, Dean, yeah. when you get out of the way and let the professionals do their work. <laughs> hey, I just, I just do the show. <laughs> collect donations how many we got left that's it alright there it is there's one completed up and down so now, these guys can hand fire. Um, it's an 18 shot rack. I don't want them to be dropping shells into anything that's hot. So I think this is the safest way to do it. I'm not sure if we're gonna have it elevated or not. Um, thanks for Isaac and all his help. And uh, thanks you for tuning in and uh, Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good night.